Okay, after we insert the USB key to the computer, then we go to find out the focus Atlas support folder. And we find out the RIP software. Here we have two different kinds of RIP. First is the focus RIP version. Another one, another one is the print factory RIP. And this RIP is calling to you optional purchasing. If you only bought focus RIP, then we will, you will only have focus RIP. If you have print factory, you will have print factory RIP. So which RIP for using is depend on the the purchase list that you bought from Focus. So first, uh, for example, we take Focus RIP. So we open the RIP file. We unzip the file to local, di local disk. And we double click to start the installation. First, we choose the language by English. We click yes. Next. We choose the, the installation folder that we want. We command the YouTube tech to install to the disk C. Yes. Then next. Next. We choose repair, nest. Then we choose finish and nest. Then finish, finish. After we finish the installation, and we will got one icon on the desk. And we just input the USB key to the computer and we open the RIP. It will show the focus strip. And first we go to the icon on the top left. We go to print setting. We choose the print model as recall GI model as default. If not, we just set as default. We choose this one. Keep be sure this model G G5i is as default. Then we go to exact. So here's the interface of the RIP. Here I have some uh, icons new to set up a new caverns and save to save the parameter, save the setting or the file. And here have some uh, options. Also here show the language, English or Chinese. Also some uh, ruler unit by millimeter and also the tools for chasing color setting like that. But it's not used for UV right now. It's almost for DDG move version. Uh, spot color like this. And here we go to spot color here. The first spot color is for, it's for white. And the second spot color is for varnish. And number three is empty. And here we just keep as default. The bleeding is for be sure to, to prevent the white ink or varnish printing the overlap. So if you have overlap, overlap, you can cut the edge like minus 0 0.1 or minus 0 0.2 millimeter. If you put a minus zero, minus is for cut. If you remove the minus like this, it's for increase the overlap will be bigger. So normally we just keep minus like a 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 millimeter to prevent the, the spot one color 
white ink print overlap or spot two channel varnish print overlap and the density increasing just keeps at default is okay and also you can if you choose spot you must be sure that the picture you create a spot channel from photoshop already if you not create any image not not don't have any spot channel from the photoshop you just load a picture to the rib so you just choose image base or or the 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 image base you just need to choose image base by same density or image density or invert reverse density so the spot option is only used for you have create a spot channel from photoshop otherwise you just choose the image based option for example we right now we want to print a picture and the picture we already made a spot channel from photoshop let's see if we open the photoshop to verify For example, right now, I want to print the, the test print five picture. I want to print this girl. It's very beautiful. I want to print this picture. as PM file. T file. This picture. This original picture. Here, so it's, he, this picture is with spot channel. I load to Photoshop. Okay, then we go to here. We can see the channel, and here have white and varnished to spot channel. We create the spot channel ready. So here, this one is wet, and here it's varnish. Only, only the the ring and the tire with varnish. The wet base is without varnish. The black, the black area is with varnish. And also for the white, same. The more dark position, the more wet ink print out. The more gray position, piece of the the less wet ink print out. And pass KCMY. We be sure this these two eyes must be on. If you click off, then we will not print with white or varnish. So open all KCMY and white and varnish. And also the key the eyes is on. So this picture is with white and varnish spot channel. Okay, then we load this picture to the rib, Fox rib. We import and we find out the picture, the original T format. We save as T format. Here's T format. T. Please remember, it must be T format, not JPEG or other format. Otherwise, the rib will cannot detect the spot channel. Okay, so we load this picture. First, we set the size when we want print. For example, we want print 300 millimeter for the width, and the height will automatically change. We put on the king area, and we want print spot channel by white and varnish ink. Then we go to spot channel. We choose by spot because of we already create a spot channel from Photoshop, and we put the overlap bleeding by the minus 0 0.15 and minus 0 0.05 and the ink dot size we choose the symmetrical model and each which model is better you can according to your using 
Normally, we choose the symmetrical version or symmetrical version with large middle dots. Especially for the varnish, we can use larger to middle dot. Like this, then we click OK. So we already have two spot channels with white and varnish. Then we go to uh, print because we already set. Also, you can do some copies for X or Y axis. And then you make position to check, check the change the position, rotate the picture. After we setting spot channel, then we go just click print. And here is very important. Here we have different ICC profile, different cubes, a uh, match with different ink. The hard ink, soft ink, high jet, high cube, wave, or normal standard wave. Because the atlas, as before, must be told you that this print have two different uh, wave. One is for high jet, for high cube, like print on a bottle, print on the basketball with high thickness cube, or another one with print with print on the flexible material to print by the normal standard width. So which solution you choose is dependent on which material you want to print. So for example, this one, this picture, I only just want to print on the, the paper, the film, the paper, the wet paper. So I just choose normal. And I, what the ink I load to the printer is hard ink. So I choose hard ink. And at once, I want the pictures more vivid, more colorful. So I can open the ICC profile. So here, if you click off the ICC, the print out picture will be, will be, uh, not so sharp. It's a uh, little bit dark. But if you open the ICC, the print out picture will be more colorful and the more details coming out. So normally we just we just open the ICC profile option. And here's no change. Here's choose the file, no change. And also custom name. And here also you can choose horizontal or vertical mineral print. Or any copies you want to print. Also you can print just print a frame. Just only a little bit frame to also you can set the frame. If you choose print a frame, then only print a little bit one millimeter square to make the position, to make you too easy to make position to put on the material, print, put the media you want to print but not print all the full image to waste that, that, that printing time. For example, right now I just print the, just one print picture on the, on the paper, so I just click off, and then I click forward the output. That means the picture, the printer will start printing of the bottom first, then print at the top from this way to print finish. If you click off, the printer will start to print the, from the top to the bottom like this way. So I just click on the forward output and I click print. I save to desktop, like test the print file, any words, but not special characters. Like this. With white, with varnish, with white, with PRM format and save. Okay, then the rip start ripping. Okay, after finish, we got a file from the task. Uh, we we got a picture from the this from the desktop, so we can load the picture to the control software and then start print later. So this is a procedure to use the RIP, Fox RIP version. And if you just don't want print with white or varnish, you just click now to click off the spot color. Then the print, if you only print with the file, we only print with full color KCM web without white or varnish. So this is a procedure to use the Fox RIP to RIP a file for printing. We just uh, double click 
to open it. And we need to do some setting step by step. So first we need to set up the output device. So we choose folder and we select. We can put this folder is used for backup the file to store the file after rip. So we can choose a uh, disk, we can choose C or D that with bigger memory. For example, we put to D for to D or C. It's better to it's better for setup to D. So we set up as PF plus rip. And then we choose this folder for setup for the folder for output device after rip. Okay, so after we already installed the print factory rip, then we need to do some setting for the reference ICC profile and the other setting. So we find out the print, print factory icon, double click it. Then here we show, we can see the name, the focus G5i model for this brief model. And then we need to go to edit. We find out the restore preference. And then we choose browse. And we go to find out the support, other support folder. Go to rip software and the print factory rip. And we go to number three, restore preference option. And here we can see there's a file named backup focus atlas PF rip restore preference. We choose it, click open. And I choose yes. Then here we can see the setting all are restored back to the rip. So here we can see the setting of hard UV ink, soft UV ink, and for each material, like flat medium, high cube medium. The flat medium means the medium is flat surface as glass, acrylic board, PVC board, or for flat medium. And the high cube medium is as the basketball, bottle, drinking bottle, mugger, that the media with high cube thickness. So we need to use the high drop plate size and use the different wave, print wave to print. And also each setting have different paths, a six pass and a four pass. The six pass is for high quality printing. But the speed is lower than full pass. The full pass is for high speed printing, but printing quality is worse than six pass. So have, all have a different setting for different material and also for different requirements. All the setting as I keep all the setting we are setting already before delivery. So do not have any change. And also you can right click to go to choose setup queen here. You can see all the settings belong to this kind of uh, preference as the printing size 1.3 times 1.1 meter and the profile standard ICC profile all are we match already. So not change. So this the preference we need to load to the rip. After we load the preference setting, then we can start to rip the job. So here we have a two kind of method to rip a job. First, we go to this kind of setting, preference, rip a file, load a picture by this method. So first we need to know what kind of media we need to we want to print. For example, right now I want to print a picture on the high cube media. I want to print a picture on the bottle or print on the high cube basketball. 
So the basketball is brown to high cube meter. And I want to print with high quality. So I need to choose six parts, high cube meter. And the basketball is hard material, but not soft material. So I choose high cube, hard UV ink, high cube meter. After I choose this option, then we right click the mouse and choose add job. Then load picture. For example, I want to print up a girl with white with varnish on the basketball for sure. So I choose this file with key format. It's tip format. This picture with white and varnish spot channel already by Photoshop. So when we open the Photoshop, this picture we can see here it has white and varnish spot channel already. If you close, we are not printed with white and varnish by spot channel. If you open, it will print with white and varnish as the image position you want. For example, this one, the white or print with full square and the more dark position print with more white ink. But for varnish here, only the black area with print varnish. The empty white and the base, we are no print any varnish. So after we set up ready the picture by Photoshop and we load to the rip. After the load, it will automatically go to the top position, zero position. And also we can change the position size. We choose this file. We can pure to change different size position. Also we can put the position here. And then the, the image size I want to print. For example, I want to print with 200 millimeter. After we set the printing size, then we need to set the white special ink. So here, when we go to the white channel, there's white spot channel already detected by the rib. Here with white and varnish WV that what we name from the rib here. So I want to print with white ink on white spot channel, W spot channel. So I just the white I choose W. And 100% white ink density. And varnish, I choose V layer. If by this way you choose W and V, so all the white ink and varnish print position will according to the rib, according to the Photoshop that we set up the channel from here. But if I choose and color or and white or inverse density like this, then it will print only with the certain position of this setting, but not detect the special spot channel from Photoshop. So what kind of, what kind of printing quality or result you want, you can set as you want. But we strongly recommend you to choose to process the picture from Photoshop first, then you can print any position with any wet or color or varnish as you want to get the better printing print the effect. So after we set the spot channel and the sides, then from here we can see all the settings are set already as hard UV ink and the ICT profile, the color standard all are loaded already as the preference. Then we just don't need to do any setting. Or we can do some uh, small setting from here, mineral printing or building printing we minus one for we, we put one, zero point one for and for make sure the white ink will not print overlap for varnish like this. Also have some special setting from here. After resetting, then we go to press submit to submit the file to the rib. So from here, then we go back to here. We can see the file already and the processing.
So after brief, we can see the picture ready. Process the ready finish com completed. Then we go to the, the output folder. We can go to see here. Output folder. So we can see the all the file, all the history printed processed file, all are processed ready with PRM file. PRP file. Then we load this file to the RIP. Uh, load the file to the control software for print. So this is the first method we process, we rip the picture. But if we want to do the setting by ourselves, by customer side, customer setting, so we can go back this way. We go to the left top plus icon, press add in, add job, by this way. Then we load the picture we want to print. For example, this one. So here we can set the size. The, this um, table size not in the change, but we can set the position, the size, access profile. We can choose by ourselves the speed. Or we can set by ourselves like this, the color rapid result. And all the settings we can choose by ourselves. We set up the file name, then we submit. We load the picture here, and we setting submit. Then the file go to this position for processing. Okay, so these two methods to rip the file from the preference area or from the left top, the like to other job. But we recommended you to set from here to rip right click other job from here because by this way it's more fast and it can prevent you do some wrong operation because all the preference we are setting already. Okay, so for for other operation you can left you can go to the support folder, we go to rip software and here have a lot of user manual to tell the video to teach you the other operation for the rip. And also have a user menu for that. And also if you are professional, you have the library or or I want the city you can try to learn to make an ICT profile by yourself. But if you are use you are fresh man, you are into into man, so we strongly recommend you to take the ICT profile that's already in the RIP software for safety. Okay, so this is all the procedure for installation and using for the print factory RIP. Thank you.